Have you ever experienced a season when everything seemed to fall apart even though you thought you were moving in the will of God? And the fall apart is gradual. So you get used to failure. Failure becomes customary. Losing becomes a habit. But it doesn't happen in a devastating way. It happens a little bit at a time. Until one day you look up and say, what in the world was I thinking about? But you're so far away from the place you shifted that you have a difficult time retracing your thoughts. I can remember thinking back and saying to myself, what in the world was wrong with me? Let me talk to some real people. What was I thinking about that landed me where I am at that particular time? And the Lord said, you won't remember what you were thinking about. But you will remember what you were doing. And if you can just put your hand on what you were doing 20 years ago, you'll remember what you were thinking about. Let me talk to you. If you can just put your hand on what you were doing at the time, what you were doing will tell you what you were thinking about 20, 30, 40 years ago. Am I talking to the right people? Now that can be an embarrassing revelation because nobody wants to look back and call themselves stupid. But we all went through some seasons when we weren't thinking straight, when we weren't open to advice, when we weren't listening to wisdom, when, watch this, when our mind went numb and our tongue took over. Because when your mind is numb, your tongue is in charge. Oh, my. But in retrospect, you realize now that despite every mistake, and this gives me pause and praise and encouragement, you can look back and see that God had his hand on you. Through every mistake, through every crazy season, the fact that you're here right now is testimony that God had his hand. I can't get any praise this morning. God had his hand on you. Through every danger, toil, and snare, God had his hand on each and every one of us. Somebody shout glory. 